Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your patience. Um, these kind of issues are unexpected. I really, really apologize. Um, uh, the first present. Uh, welcome to the session 767 risk preparedness. And uh, the first presenter is Mr. Sharif Reza. He's a PhD candidate in the University, uh, Ten University um, of Brandenburg, PTU. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. The, well, um, yes, we are moving very, very fast. And just let me uh, say a couple of words of Mr. Um, Sharifi. He has uh, obtained a BSc in Chemical and Technology Engineering from Kabul Polytechnic University in 2009. And the same year, he joined the UNESCO Kabul office. In where he was responsible of several projects in heritage conservation and management throughout the country in Afghanistan, where he's from. In 2013, he left the UNESCO and began to study the master program of World Heritage Studies in BTU in Cottbus, Germany, and graduated with a master's degree. Since 2016, he's a PhD candidate at BTU in Heritage Studies. Besides his research, he also works as an advisor of the uh, an advisor to the Afghan Ministry of Urban Development, Directorate for Preservation of Historic Cities in Kabul. Reza, uh, you have uh, less than 15 minutes, and I will appreciate if you can just uh, start with your presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And that's really a pity that I could not participate in the meeting. I'm really sorry for that. When Amirka and me designing the seat, and I was thinking that finally, going to my turn in the I was a teenager. I mean, in Barcelona University. But just a few days ago, my best was going to stay in Afghanistan because of something and designing some cultural projects at, here in Afghanistan. Anyway, thank you, Amirka. And uh, about my presentation, the topic of my presentation is my presentation of Bamiyan archaeology site, the risk based approach. Can you go to the second slide? Yeah. Yeah. For having an idea of what exactly I mean about the risk, I put uh, the definitions that put you in the panel and the board of this topic. Everyone did to expect the original sense of what. We have all been trained by practice and experience in management. Everyone has an added contribution to make it much more solid. So I think everyone who I cannot see decisions out there can have something about that and can say, our goal here is to assess the risks and the prevention process, taking all the assets, and then to act to reduce as effective as possible, give the development resources. So the next slide is showing what the outcome of my presentation. And uh, the, uh, the presentation article based on research that we have done as part of PhD. Well, the outcome presentation is here. Yeah, I would like to have an introduction. We have some introduction to the biased problems. The subject is a frame and uh, presented to the audience and key findings. Good. The next slide is establishing why being dead. You know that we are, however, I'm from Afghanistan, um, and for many people from the region, risk is a real thing in life. And if you look at uh, this slide and the fact of this slide there, where, where the radius of this circle is bigger than there are many people have lost their lives there. And two biggest ones, the Sir and the Amazon country. However, this state is coming from the UCDP of Slides uh, conflict data proven. But uh, about Afghanistan, it is not just these five years as Syria experienced, but we are facing this trouble about three decades, more than three decades. And if you look at the diagram below the slides, we can see that from 2000 to 2000, 2016, 
especially in 2013, to very different people who are losing their life in the dark and it's going around. But what does it have with the culture? There are a lot of sites that in, there is an underlying that is the conflict of conflict. And there are a lot of sites of anything is this that the basic is and name all. But now I'm more persons are on direct attacks, Asia and Syria, Iraq, Mali, and Libya. And but they're not, much of them don't know, they don't have a sort of a risk management plan. We are expected out of the current list of politics of Afghanistan, but because it's all about the same freedom that are in the slaughter and cause conflict, but it's not. The Nepal, oh, sorry, uh, can you next slide the map of Afghanistan? Is it right on the top? Yes. Oh, good. Well, in this map, you can see that uh, what, what do I need from increasing the food of life? From 2001, the time that Taliban left the country, till 2005, we had a, no, we had a moment this time, or peaceful time. It's, from 2005, the time that the Taliban started to reorganize themselves as a militia and the, the, the opposition to the government, and they started to conflict, we had a very high angle of the rising, the losing of the life there. So, what not and the Taliban the release means losing the life, and it's sometimes a dialogue for me as a culture expert to think about preservation of the culture in the places that we all do in the life. But anyway, we cannot wait for the time that's going to be peace. And moreover, culture is the main pillar of social cohesion, especially on the with multi ethnic groups that are living in Afghanistan. Good. This part and the next slide, which is a photo of Banyan. For doing my research and my article, I have, cho I have chosen Banyan. Why? Because uh, it's very famous, especially uh, with the act of vandalism, which Top did in 2001 with its political two gigantic Buddhist statues and many other uh, objects there. So, in 2018, we decided and to do research, what exactly is meant to look for such a displaced? I'm hearing my voice and sometimes it's uh, distracting me, but I try to manage myself. Anyway, yes, uh, the, yeah, uh, we are in the, in, in the slide with you and the landscape of Ramian. Exactly, that's it. Well, for doing my research, I have chosen the category of people to, to, to do in the interview and the one of them was the government of Bambi and on the right side. And after four five days with Ivan and him, he was in the front line in another city which was captured by Taliban and they wanted to come to Red to Balkan again. So, and for the people who are working there, for the special culture, this archaeological site, it's all the time the big dialogue. What exactly they do when talk is not them about coming, and at the same time they're working. Right? Are they either working and then the work will be again demolished by the targets again? So, with these problems, I, I designed the next slide. Some items to manage my article, manage my thesis. it. Well, little is certain on the survival of observation of Gans and culture period because of the lack of its incomplete. Third of continuity, the continuity is not finished. And absence of the comprehensive business service plan for risk management and lack of potential solutions to your career. The next slide. Well, I designed some other objectives. It's a very traditional and standard way of doing such a set. It was an objective from the 
a sustained exists are prone to effective risk management and extending with precise to the root of this characterization. Evaluating different management plans, for example, the Spanian culture of muscle and the side. Determining the function of the local evaluation properties in comparison with the international evaluation documents, which I'm going to explain in the Elaborating local institutions to protect the Afghan refugees during conflict, which is the fourth one of the main goal that I and I urged by Melissa and Gates to tell them that this is the final step that I was thinking that should be done. So the next slide, which is the questions that normally that scientists we have put good missions for single objectives. The question how much the existing trends of heritage management are applicable in the term of armed conflict rules? Um, which risk mitigation implement could integrate between the management and in respect to being a conflict risk? Third, what should the local transmitted mitigation risk created by the agent of the armed conflicts and how much was affected the local institution during the so, the first thing that I had to do was narrowing down the topic to the single element to be handled. So, from the beginning, I knew that I don't want to go beyond, and especially UNESCO Convention, UNESCO Convention, especially the work in the work that I was told this because they were so broad and they couldn't answer my detailed questions. So, I went and all the trends of the work of the risk management in this direction. The next slide, please. Yeah, the classification of selected agents of damage. So I went to the, the, what exactly, uh, what exactly, um, can you go back into my conceptual frame? What conceptual frame? Yeah, this is the uh, Reza, you have one. you have two minutes. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. no problem. That's so. I, this is this heritage risk characterization. The full model. Heritage risk characterization. I found that there are three main categories, and I've added this heritage uh, characterization, perception, context, of research, and risk assessment, and. Inside of that, I was designing some methods to find out what exactly from this heritage representation and this is quantifying each specific history like to the cause. So please welcome my specific as an immediate review and you and define the analysis based accepted cause of value. So, and uh, my research and so the qualitative, the qualitative approach with a single text that I do. Maybe you can go local as the time is short. In the next slide is data analysis time and time with uh, field surveys and uh, mapping the risk with the GMPS, especially going to the official. Documents that uh, exist in the country and to the Pamian, like Pamian, 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 and Pamian, that document. And fifth slide, this is the research methodology. I narrate the various these methods from the work of Canadian uh, Institution for Conservation, uh, where they designed another method like this here. And uh, the, the next slide is a key finding. Based on these methods, I got I identified 42 items in which was universal contents in a different ways. I did documented the protocol as the risk they came to us. Of course, mainly got it from user and other work of them. In slide number 17, you can see one uh, mark of worships. I identified all those lands that we belong to the peoples. There, and I found that those pure sites that are at the same time they have another value, especially for cultivation, and they're belonging to specific ethnic groups, they have potential, more potential to be damaged or even digged legally. Uh, so there is there's a hope uh, for preserving those sites in one of the places. Well, and thank you. Rest up. I think it's before that. 
I divide my contributors to the five poles, and as you can see in the slides, those are that have the potential to be adapted again by Taliban to our colleagues, right? Based on their criteria. And last but in the last part of that, which is the present number 17, 19, this is the contribution to our passing of the term of the gentleman. Mitigating them in all first of all, one young white basis for responsibilities. This public and all some dispositions we divide the time to explain. But anyway, uh, I hope this uh, can pave the way to us in the public based institutions that can be based for free space management, reaching the green on the continent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rith.